just use DaVinci Resolve. Wait a second, that's not open source, unsub! No, 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 dear viewer, dear customer, I, I don't even know. Your subscription is of incredible value to me, as you can tell from my facial expression. And so because of that, I will rationally explain to you why not every software has to be open source. Ah, uh, you darn hypocritical disembodied head! You see, sometimes software developers don't want to give out the source code for all of their programs. And while having open source software is great, it kind of breaks the whole selling your software thing because people can just compile the source code. And despite the whole collaboration and making the software better aspect of open source projects, I still haven't seen a video editor that is open source that can truly replace something like DaVinci Resolve. They either don't have enough features or don't perform well on all platforms. Now sure, if you're not doing very intensive work, if you just want to do some cropping, cutting, speeding up, and slowing down and reversing clips, then any of these open source options will do fine. But I require more from my video editor. I need a better workflow, more features, better performance. I need something like DaVinci Resolve. Plus, who says it's going to remain closed source forever? Projects like OpenTunes, an amazing animation software available for completely free, have become open source after being closed source for quite some time. Either that or an open source video editor has to really impress me. Also, DaVinci Resolve has cross-platform support for Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. Although you have to make the installer yourself, but it's really easy thanks to a fan-made script. So, do you now see why I consider DaVinci Resolve superior to any open source video editor? No! Unsub! <sighs> Anyway, just use DaVinci Resolve. DaVinci Resolve is a non-linear video editor created by the company Blackmagic Design. They make a bunch of expensive panels and cameras, stuff that I'd probably never buy. I think very few people are willing to drop $30,000 for a film scanner. But good news, DaVinci Resolve, the program that you're supposed to use all of this expensive equipment with, is completely free. And by that I mean the non-studio version. If you want stuff like film grain and stereoscopic 3D, you're gonna have to pay up for the studio version. The thing is, the regular non-studio version version is an absolutely amazing tool to be releasing for free. It's got a plethora of features, inbuilt audio recording, and inbuilt After Effects like 3D kinda sweet thing. Too many transitions and effects to list. It has this amazing linear menu design that I'm a big fan of, and in general the UI interface is much more friendlier than something like Vegas or Premiere Pro. DaVinci Resolve is the ultimate answer to the question, I can't start a YouTube channel, I don't have money to spend on expensive videos graphical and audio software, so what should I get? Now obviously the applications of DaVinci Resolve go way beyond YouTube, but it's a great software to use for it. That's why I'm going to be making a tutorial on how to make a Denshi style video from start to finish using only free software. Anyway, as mentioned before, DaVinci Resolve is available for all major desktop operating systems. This is pretty impressive because most video editors only support Mac and Windows, and some, like Final Cut Pro X, only support Mac. But DaVinci Resolve supports anything, so don't worry about having an incompatible operating system. Then there's the comparison with Premiere. Many people have switched from Premiere Pro to DaVinci Resolve mostly because Premiere Pro is expensive and incredibly unstable. And I can personally vouch for this. When I used Premiere Pro, it performed quite badly for me, especially when importing footage and editing high-definition footage. DaVinci Resolve, on the other hand, was a much smoother and less crash-filled experience for me. The thing is, the lacking performance and crashes of Premiere Pro are nothing compared to the horror that was using After Effects. And I can happily say that DaVinci Fusion, the inbuilt effects editor for DaVinci Resolve, works much better than After Effects. As in it doesn't crash every 5 seconds. There's also a built-in audio editor, ironically called Fairlight, that acts a lot like Adobe Audition. And all of this running in the same program, not having you switch between the two like Premiere and After Effects. So yeah, if you want a completely free, professional-grade, non-linear video editor with basically After Effects and Audition built in, just use DaVinci Resolve. This video was surprisingly not brought to you by Cyberlink Power Director.